Hi, I'm Dr. Bikas Patel, orthopedic upper extremity surgeon here at the Orthopedic Institute of North Texas. And today I'm gonna to answer the most common questions that patients have about upper extremity fractures. Anytime that there's been enough trauma that causes the bone to either break or have a crack in it, it definitely is very serious. It is something that needs to be addressed and an appointment needs to be made for further evaluation and management of the fracture. So a fracture, a break, a crack in the bone, all mean the same thing to orthopedic surgeons. A fracture is essentially a crack that has gone through the bone. It can be either what we call displaced or non-displaced. Non-displaced fractures can be things like hairline fractures that you commonly hear about. Displaced fractures can be so severe where the bone could be poking out of the skin. A fracture can be very painful. Any time that the bone is broken, the edges of it, if it moves at all, can cause a lot of pain. And based on your pain tolerance, it can vary from not hurting too much to being very severe. Things like a splint or a cast can be applied to help immobilize the bone. It prevents you from moving the joint above and below, so then the fracture does not move and reduces your pain. A fracture is diagnosed by various techniques. The most common thing that we will get is an x-ray. An x-ray can identify most fractures, however, depending on the severity of the fracture or the location of the fracture, advanced imaging like either a CT scan or an MRI may be needed to further evaluate the extent of treatment for the fracture. Based upon the severity of the fracture and the location and potentially how many pieces the fracture is in, these all contribute to determining whether or not you can be treated without surgery or with surgery. If based on the imaging studies like x-ray or CT scan, I feel that the fracture can be treated without surgery, I'll likely place you into either a splint or a cast. So then that way it can keep the fracture immobilized long enough for your body to be able to heal the fracture. If I determine that you need surgery, there are various types of surgeries that can be done for this. For fractures that occur in the hand, Things like small plates, screws, or pins can be used to be able to stabilize the fracture. After surgery, I would put your hand in a splint or a, a soft dressing, so then that way the fracture can be able to heal on its own. Other areas of the body, like the wrist, you may need something like a plate and screws to hold the fracture in place. And if you have fractures around the elbow or arm, even bigger plates and screws can be used to stabilize the fracture. Some people who, if you get a shoulder fracture and it's bad enough, may end up needing a shoulder replacement to be able to fix the fracture to allow you to be able to regain as much motion and function as possible. So every fracture is different and typically it takes about six months for the bone to be fairly solid after a surgery, but the full recovery process can sometimes take up to a full year. Along the way, I'll follow you along getting x-rays and making sure that you're heading the right direction and that together we can be able to achieve your goals. During the treatment process, you'll always see me and I'm gonna show you your x-rays and we can see the healing together. I wanna make sure that together, you and I are gonna be able to have the best recovery as possible and make sure we're gonna be able to achieve your goals to get you back moving. If you have a concern or think that you have a fracture, please, Call and make an appointment today. I'll be more than happy to see you and start the treatment process today.